Hi, I'm Gregory Sautier and I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to use LDAP authentication in an Informatica domain. The agenda of this video is, first of all, I will be telling you what are the supported LDAP server. Then I will be showing you how to connect to an LDAP server using an LDAP client and look at the LDAP data. I will then configure an Informatica domain to retrieve LDAP users and finally I will be showing you some useful links. Informatica 9 supports Microsoft Active Directory, Sun Java System, Novel eDirectory, IBM Tivoli Directory, OpenLDAP. The full details uh, about which version of each LDAP server is available on our product available matrix. If you have any doubts, please contact support for more details. I am now connecting to an LDAP Active Directory server. I created for this video and uh, I've created uh, two organization units one called GCS users where user 1, user 2 and user 3 have been created and GCS groups where two groups have been created GCS and sales. GCS contains user 1 and user 2 and sales contain user 3. In order to be able to look at the LDAP data without any transformation, we will need to use Softera LDAP Browser 4.5 that is a free tool to download. And let's create a new profile. This is the host name of the LDAP server. Port number is 3889 by default. Let's pick the base DN where the users will be stored. The principle is the username that has the ability to look at all of the users in the Active Directory. In that case, it's the administrator account. So we are now logged in to Active Directory, so you will recognize the GCS users organization unit where user 1, user 2 and user 3 are present. So let's have a look at the attributes that a user has. The most important one in the case of Active Directory is called SAM account name and this is the attribute that Informatica will use in order to retrieve the username. We also have the groups, so if we look at GCS, we have the attribute called member that will list the users that are part of this group. So I am now going to show you how to synchronize LDAP users with Power Center from the administration console. So you have to log into the administration console, then go to the security tab, actions, LDAP configuration. The server name is the LDAP server, port number. The principal user, as you know, is the administrator user in our case. And the group 
mm, attribute definition is the member attribute as we saw when we look at the group in Softera. So this will help uh, Informatica uh, by letting him know which attribute to look at in order to find which user is part of which group. So let's test the connection. The next step is to create a security domain. The first property is user search base, which means we need to specify where the users are located in order to research the users to synchronize. User filter is what needs to be specified in order to filter out users. So in that case, I decided to only retrieve the users that are part of the group GCS. For that, I had a look at the attribute called member of. If we go back to Softera and look at the user, the member of attribute tells you which group a user belongs to. back to the administration console in order to check that all the filters and search base are correct click on preview and make sure that the correct users are retrieved in our case user 1 and user 2 are indeed part of GCS and we also retrieve both of the GCS and sales group then hit synchronize and your users are imported into a new security domain ready for more configuration and uh, be able to synchronize and add more privileges. So this is how you configure Informatica to retrieve users from Active Directory. The useful links are stated on that slide. Uh, you have Software LDAP Browser. The free version is 4.5 as mentioned before. The knowledge base uh, has a lot of articles related to LDAP, LDAP authentication and the how-to library has a full um, details on how to do this. So thank you very much for listening and we'd love to hear from you. So please send emails to support videos or uh, go onto Twitter in order to give us something back. Thank you.